hello my most beautiful and glamorous besties welcome to my channel and if you're new here welcome well in today's video besties i am going to do another acrylic set here on my practice hat and i'm going to show you in a little bit the acrylics i'm going to be using and it's this beautiful purple glitter i love it so much and it's from hot hot tip nail box i think that's what it was called okay so the second one is this beautiful excuse me it's this beautiful lavender and it's so beautiful of course i'm going to be using my low odor mate the nail matrix monomer i love this monomer it is very very wonderful and it works very well for beginners here besties i am doing a little swatch for you on the paper towel so that y'all can see these beautiful and amazing colors I am going to be using my size number 12 acrylic brush from Enel Couture. This is my favorite brush. So here, besties, I am working on the pinky. So on the pinky, on the middle finger and the thumb, I am going to be doing a glitter acrylic nail. On the pointer and the ring finger, I am going to be using this beautiful lavender from Savina. Besties, I love Savina acrylics. They're so easy to work with. They're so easy to manage this low order monomer from the nail matrix it's the best i mean it gives you so much time to work with the bead it gives you so much time to be able to play with it and flatten it out i love this um low order monomer it, it's not orderless but it 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 does have a smell to it but um it works wonderful and i recommend it 100 percent and um yeah so here i am putting the glitter on the pinky and it's just it's beautiful i am not really for like purple nails but since we're still in spring i decided to use this purple glitter and it is amazing it's so so pretty and yeah basically so i have a couple of videos coming up soon um i think i have another Azure beauty dip powder kit that's coming in i think i have another package from born pretty and i have another company that's sending me some more gel polishes so I'll be unboxing those with y'all in the future. I also did a very small team Timu because everybody is just doing unboxing with Timu and I had to get on that wagon to show y'all a couple of things that I've ordered and I'm already having um, a lot of stuff in my car to do another order, another order. Oh my God, besties, I cannot speak today. Yeah, so I am getting ready for my second order so that I'll be able to show y'all some more goodies that I get from Timu because, I mean, when I get on that website, I mean, I'm just looking and looking and looking at all the amazing things they do, they sell. And I have been going to YouTube and I've been seeing a lot of y'all um, doing these unboxings and y'all get some amazing things from this company. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that will be a couple of new videos very soon, as soon as I receive these packages. So besties, um, I really cannot see exactly what I'm doing because of the little um, voiceover recording box. But I think I am on the middle finger already. And um, I stop there and I go directly to the ring and pointer with the beautiful lavender. And I think the thumb, I do that one off camera. I do an ombre actually. I do the lavender and the glitter and it's so, so pretty. But before I let this video play out, besties, I have to do my shout outs. So shout out to you, besties. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for hitting my notif the notification button so you will not miss out on another video. Thank you. Thank you so much, besties. I appreciate each and every one of y'all love y'all so much and to my nail sisters sisters i love y'all so so much i love all the support i love all the comments that y'all leave i love everything about y'all i love y'all um being a part of my youtube family and being a part of my life so thank you besties thank you so much and besties so don't forget to like and share my video make sure y'all share the video so we can get some more subscribers i'm already at 711 as soon as I hit 1,000, I will be doing another giveaway, and I'm already filling up that box. And yeah, so as soon as I hit 1,000, we'll be doing another giveaway and giving out some more nail goodies and stuff, stuff like that in my first box. Okay, Betsy, so I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to let this play out. 
and I will be right back to let you know what will be the next step. So besties, when I am done with the pointer finger, I am going to go off camera, finish the thumb, and I'm also going to clear cap them with my Model 1's clear acrylic, and then I will be back so we can do some shaping, some filing and buffing, and um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let this play out, and I will be back so we can do that. Oh wow, besties, these colors are so amazing. So as you can see, the pointer and the ring finger, I did put some of that purple glitter in there. Um, the only thing, besties, um, I will recommend is to put it while um, the other acrylic is still wet. I put it on while it was already dried. So I had to put a lot of clear acrylic over it to kind of even up that um, really bumpy surface of the glitter being so thick on the nail. But okay, I managed. Everything came out fine. They still came out glamorous the way I like them. And here, right here, what I'm doing is I'm um, kind of like reshaping them. And then I will get my e file from my cart, and I will file them down. And then I will get my um, 
little buffing buffing block and I will buff the, the rough surface out um, I'm gonna just do like a little rough um, oh here I'm showing you these other nails that I did they came out so nice besties and I didn't record them I'm so upset I wish I would have recorded them they were so so beautiful and the stars were so amazing so here I am I'm going to file down the nails and then I'm gonna do just a couple of nails and of course I'm gonna finish her off camera and then we'll be back to decorate because I do have some a little nail art that I want to do on the nails nothing too um nothing too elegant nothing too exotic and nothing too hard so it's gonna be very very easy and yeah that's what I'm doing here I'm falling down the nails I'm gonna let this play out we'll be back to come and do some nail art on these beautiful glitter purple nails And this is the only reason why I hate doing acrylic nails on my practice hand because I just pull those nails out and file them the best way that I can. You know, you can't do that on a client. Um, so I'd rather work and do some acrylic nails on a real hand on a client, you know, because, you know, we need that practice. We need to learn how to do the nails on a real, real person's hand because we do kind of act this way when it comes to a practice hand. So I'm going to finish off camera. I top coated her with my Wonder Top Coat from Eno Guitar. That is the best top coat. I just always have to use it after I am done fighting and I wash her hand. So I'm going to pull out some little gel pots here that I got from Josh Love. And it's the blue and the yellow. And I'm going to do some little um, flowers on the on the, the glitter hand, the glitter fingers, the finger. Ugh. Besties, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna do some blue flowers on the glitter nails. Okay, so that's a lot better. Um, these gel pods, they were a little thick. Um, you always want thick gel polish when you come to doing nail art. Um, it just works a lot better. Um, I hope I said better and not bitter, but it works a lot better. And um, they were working, but I don't know if it was because I was cleaning it with that solution that also came in the kit it was kind of like getting a little runny um it kind of reminded me of blooming gel or um base coat and i think that's what it i think that's what it really is it's to clean your brush after you're done using it and i was here using it to clean my little dotting tool and that's when i realized like i need to get alcohol instead of this um brush solution cleaning solution and it did work out a little bit better but besties I am going to let this video play out. You're gonna see the little dotting tool making my little flowers and I'll be back so that we can add some bling. I'll be back for bling time. And so I'm gonna let this play out, I'll be right back.
all right bestie so it is time for some bling time we're gonna put some of these crystals um rhinestones and there are from my car and i have my little handy dandy flashlight and i have some my cart rhinestone glue here that i'm trying to finish out and yeah so on um, the glitter nails i am going to do not the glitter nails the the ring and the pointer finger i'm going to do like a little slanted line of rhinestones all different sizes just going in a slanted way um on the flower nails with the glitter i think i just put them in random spots i'll probably do a cuticle um rhinestone placement and then just put them in random spots so besties um once i'm done with this i will top the top coat them again i will cure them for 60 seconds and then we'll be back to see the final look so i'm gonna let this play out and we'll be back for the final look Alright, so she is in the UV lamp. She is baking. I top coated her with this Josh Love top coat and I am ready to pull her out so that y'all be able to see the final look with all the rhinestones and how beautiful and glamorous she looks. So here she is, besties. These two um, purple colors were so amazing. The purple glitter and the lavender from Savvy Lamp. Totally, totally amazing. Very easy to work with. I'm in love with the blue flowers. This glitter is just so pretty. This little... I don't want to call it a marble because it's really not. But the ombre came out also very, very nice. I think she came out very stunning, bestie. And I hope, I hope you like the nails. I hope you like the video. And yeah, so here are the products that I used in this video on these nails. And yeah, I'm gonna give a quick, quick, um, like a little. I'm just showing you right here, you know what I used. And um, yeah, besties, I love them so much. I think they came out so cute, so spring, so flowery. And yeah, they're so beautiful. So please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, and share my video. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to stay glamorous. Lots of love, love hugs, and kisses. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, bestie.